What is up, Yam Squad? Welcome to another video. I want to talk about Kanye West Drink Champs interview. This is the second one which has done this year. Wait, wait, wait no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll get fucked because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me because part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right, right. I'm Michael now. Right, Every right. Michael you can think of. Right. I am the richest. Right. right. They say you're the richest black man in American in, history. In history. In American in history. Can we make some noise for that? Goddamn it. Yeah. Uh, I have some notes over here, so there's some things that I want to talk about. First of all, I want to start from the beginning and I want to give you my perspective on Kanye West. I think Kanye West is a genius. I think he has done a lot to push our culture forward. And um, all the things that he's talking about, like uh, Jews and everything, we're going to get into that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, the headline of this video is Kanye pushing too far and is Kanye going to get killed? Now, I've been following Kanye West ever since graduation. That's when I started. My brother put me on to Kanye West. I think he's a interesting artist. There's a lot of artists which has like a persona and they, they try to sugarcoat everything because of course the more you liked the bigger demographic you have but Kanye West has never been that kind of an artist, always been very honest and that is one of the reasons why I've liked Kanye West. He now plans to sell the Yeezy brand directly to consumers, something he argued about with radio host Sway back in 2013. Or why don't you empower yourself and don't hmm. need them and do it yourself? How, like Sway? You take a few steps back to go You ain't got the answers, forward. man. So Sway, almost 10 years ago, said, man, why don't you do it on your own? Was he right? You know what? I will go ahead and say Sway had the answer. I know people are gonna be like, no. So, as if we're just talking about like music wise, I think he has the best catalog. It's not even close. With time, we're gonna realize it. I think he's almost there. He's almost, the metamorphosis has, is almost complete. The first thing that I wanna point out in this interview is just Kanye West's evolution because I think that Kanye West, now we're, we're, we're looking at time we're starting to see like with time, we're starting to see how far and how, how ahead Kanye West is. Uh, he was broke. He had this whole thing where he was like shouting out the, the whole thing with Mark Zuckerberg. He needed a loan. Kanye West says he is, get this, $53 million in debt. And to help, he wants Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg to invest in his ideas. He needed money, but the evolution has been great because he has gone from being a producer to a rapper, and now he's a fashion designer, and he has done that in less than 20 years. I think Kanye West, of course, is breaking down the doors for black people, and right now, I would say he is... Him Him and Jay-Z are, I would say, the 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 prominent leaders within the black culture. Kanye West, Grammy-winning musician, fashion designer, and now billionaire. Back in 2016, West himself declared he was over $50 million in debt. So how did he climb out of this hole? And where does his money come from? After a decade-long earnings analysis, Forbes can confirm that Kanye West is worth $1.3 billion. Though West grew famous for his music, his fortune comes mostly from his Adidas-powered Yeezy sneaker line. West receives around 11% royalty of Yeezy revenue. He's pushing us into a new era, right? and he's opening the doors. And I know that he's gonna get a lot of flack for it. The biggest problem that we have that I would say is just the fact that we, we as black people really don't work together. We're very divided and that comes from colonism, but it also comes from, I think there's a lot of greed amongst us. And it's very interesting to see an artist like Kanye West. Now, do I think that Kanye West is gonna get killed? The answer is, I think something might happen to him because now Kanye has broken down the the barrier so much and if you look at like artists like Michael Jackson or whoever Prince whenever they wanted to do something big then they were shut down and they were sent to Christ the jury saw the Michael Jackson we all knew the king of pop in rare footage of his last time ever on stage rehearsing for the this is it tour the day before he died what about flowering fields 
news. And they saw this. Michael Jackson in full death mask on a hospital gurney, killed, say prosecutors, by the unskilled hands and gross negligence of his personal doctor, Conrad Murray. He left him there, abandoned him to fend for himself. The whole BLM thing, the White Lives Matters, the, him having the t-shirts and doing that, I get it. Con Kanye West is a contrarian, so he's going to do things that goes against the grain which is good that's why we like him as an artist but the problem with that is i mean his whole argument about george floyd and like the person didn't really put his knee on the guy's neck you could see it in the video that there he's just flat out wrong and i disagree with Kanye west 100 percent there I, I watched the george floyd documentary that candace owens put up one of the things that his two roommates said was they want a tall guy like me they want a tall guy like me and the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me, that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. I don't think that he should have said that. I think George Floyd, of course, he died. And the best thing would have been just to just leave that whole George Floyd situation alone and don't really talk about it because it's not going to serve you in any way. And this is the thing with Kanye. I noticed like he has to be hated in order to 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 get some kind of energy in order to move forward. I don't I don't know why he's constantly doing that. It's maybe just his character, but him being a contrarian is something that I both love about him and hate about him. Now I want to talk about the whole thing about the uh, the Jews. Mm. And I'm saying, y'all done poked the bear too fucking long. When I wore the White Lives Matter tee, they, I had four SoFi Stadium shows. They canceled my shows. Mm -hmm. I said, it's up. And let me tell you one thing. It's like if a black man is caught with something in the car or something, everybody in the car going to go to jail for, with him, right? But if a black man can play basketball or rap, only he gets the record deal. So meaning like if one black man does something bad, all the other blacks get caught with him. If one black man does something good, nobody else gets nothing with him. It's a reverse for the Jewish people, right? right. If, if a Jewish person could repeatedly fucks me on a deal, it's right. just them. It's just the businessman. It's not the people, it's not nobody else. Right. But if a Jewish person does good all of their people eat with them that's one of the flips he does make a lot of valid points when he's talking about like nepotism and that there's a lot of jews which fix like jobs for their their kids and even the stevie wonder comment which he said like stevie wonder's kid can't get a job i i, I get it i understand but this is something which i think it's a problem in our community and it's not really it doesn't really have to do with the Jews it has to do with ourselves because we're not unified as black people a lot of black people have a lot of black hate if you were to take like a, an example for instance when it comes to like hip-hop and whatever song you hear it's always I fucked your bitch or I did this it's like everything if it's it's built upon envy like hip-hop is built upon envy before it was about uplifting our culture but there was a slight shift when i say new money came into hip-hop and then they started like like shifting the narrative then of course they could shift the narrative of what they thought hip-hop was and then and maybe that's what he's talking about like the jews came into the hip-hop community and then they start poisoning the wells i get that i understand that and his plight i mean he does make some valid points but I think what we should do is reflect inwards because hip hop is ours and it's what the world's biggest music genre, which is great, but we should control it and we should not let outside forces control it. Like, I'm starting to understand what Dame Dash is talking about. It makes more sense right now. Mm -hmm. What it is at this point, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of y'all no more. And we don't have to be afraid. I understand 
that they got us so paid off every which way they cutting out. And my whole point just off the tweet, the fact that what does that even mean, what I said, and the fact that I got taken off proves my point. Jamie Lee Curtis went on TV and said, I hope they take his children away from him. So when I drive by and I see the Hulu ads and I say the JP Chase Morgan ads, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, the devil is a defeated foe. You can't poison me. And by the way, y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public. And I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address though? Travis gave me the address. It's starting with Kanye, but it, it should be some form of nepotism also in our community. Uh, I think he's, he's uh, right when it comes to, to the whole plight with the Jews. I, I think there's a little jealousy there because he wants to get in, he wants to be accepted there. But instead of him trying to be accepted there, I think he, we should just build it on our own. And we should change the mentality because like I've noticed like when it comes to the media and it comes to all of this, when it comes to them, they sh constantly shooting out that message of togetherness. But when it comes to black people and when it comes to us, to be honest, there's no unified message. When we try to unify, there's always forces there which are trying to, you know, divide us and, and, and you know, separate us. So that's the thing which I would say. Those are my thoughts and opinions when it comes to this. Like, comment and share if you want to see more videos like this. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? right? But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, right. like as a martyr. And we don't know why exactly. We say it's cancer. But I yeah. mean, I mean, um, mm -hmm. I I want to be careful with this subject because wait a second. But tell me, mm -hmm. could you even really run this interview? Because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You got know I'm saying they blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. This shit lit, right? I'm lit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm lit. Yeah. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? J.P. Morgan. I put 140 million dollars yeah. into J.P. Morgan, and they treated me like shit. So if J.P. Morgan Chase is treating me like that, how they treating the rest no, of y'all?